Hello and welcome to Vision Academy. In this video, we are going to study lab program 9. Write a function to print the table of a given number. The number has to be entered by the user. So, let us take a variable called a of type integer and inside the round bracket, we will take an input function and here in a double quotation mark, I will ask the user to enter the number. End the double quotation mark and close the brackets. Here I'm going to take a variable called i and equate it with value 1. Now I'm going to take a while looping construct and we'll check out this condition i is less than or equal to 10 and colon. So colon is as per the syntax of while loop. After writing this condition, we have to give the tab space that is called indentation. Here I'm going to write a statement p is a variable that is holding a into i value. So here a is the inputted number, i is for the first time it is 1. So this iteration takes place till this condition is true. Next, I am going to print the value stored in b using print statement. And here I am going to write first variable a and I will put comma. And here in a single pair of quotation mark, I will write cross mark that will be printed as it is and put comma now i want to print the value stored in i and put comma in a single pair of quotation mark i'll write single equal to then put comma and the final result will be stored in b so hence i'm going to write here b and close the bracket now i'll increment the value of i by 1 by writing i is equal to i plus 1 now let us check out the output once we execute this program, it will ask the user to enter the number. Here, for example, I am going to enter 5. So, 5 will be stored in variable a. So, what is the value of i? i is 1. So, now we will check out the condition which is present in a while looping construct. Here, i value for the first time it is 1. 1 is less than or equal to 10. Yes, condition is true. Once this condition is true, all these three statements will get executed. Here, the first statement is b is equal to a is 5 into i value for the first time it is 1. 5 into 1 is 5. Now, the second statement print. So, a value is 5. So, here I am going to write 5. Next, this cross mark will be printed as it is. Next, i value for the first time it is 1 and in a single pair of quotation mark we have written single equal to. So, it will be printed as it is and value stored in b is 5 ones are that is 5. So, it will be printing 5. Here, i value will get incremented by 1. Earlier it was 1. Now, 1 plus 1 it will become 2. So, control transfers to y loop whether 2 is less than or equal to 10. Yes, condition is true. Now, it is going to calculate value of b b is equal to a value is 5 only into i is incremented by 1 now it is 2 so 5 2 is a 10 so 10 will be stored in b now we are going to print this particular statement so what is the value of a that is 5 into i value is 2 and is equal to b value is what now it is 10 so 10 will be printed and it increments the value of i by 1 earlier it was 2 now 2 plus 1 it will become 3 once again control transfers to while whether 3 is less than or equal to 10 yes condition is 2 then b is equal to a is 5 into i value is 3 5 3 is a 15 will be stored in b now it is going to execute the print statement a is 5 cross mark will be printed as it is i value is now it is 3 equal to b is holding value 15 and now it increments the value of i by 1 earlier it was 3 now it is 3 plus 1 it will become 4 once again control transfers to while loop whether 4 is less than or equal to 10 yes condition is true now we are going to write b is equal to a value is 5 into i value is 4 5 4 is a 20 20 will be stored in b we are going to print this particular statement so here it will be 5 into i value is 4 is equal to b value is 20. So, here 20 will be printed. 
Now it increments the value of i by 1. Earlier it was 4. Now it is 4 plus 4 and it will become 5. So again control transfers to while loop. 5 is less than or equal to 10. Yes, condition is true. Here p is equal to a is 5 and now i value is 5. 5 into 5 is 20. 5 will be stored in b. Now we are going to execute this print statement. a is 5 into i is also 5 is equal to b is holding value 25. So it is going to print 25. Once again, this value of i will get incremented by 1. Earlier it was 5. Now it is 5 plus 1. It will become 6. 6 will be stored in value i. Control transfers to while loop. Whether 6 is less than or equal to 10, yes, condition is true. Once this condition is true, b is equal to a value is 5 into here i value is 6 is equal to 5, 6, 30 will be stored in variable b. And this print statement will get executed. Here a value is 5, i value is 6, 5, 6, 30 will be printed. And now it increments the value of i by 1. Earlier it was 6, now it is 6 plus 1, it will become 7. Once again, control transfers to while loop. 7 is less than or equal to 10. Yes, condition is true. Here, B is equal to A is 5 into I value is 7. So, 5 7 is 35 will be stored in variable B. Print statement will get executed. A value is 5, I value is 7 and B is holding value 35. Now, once again, it increments the value of I by 1. Now, 7 plus 1, it will become 8. Control transfers to while loop and it, now it checkouts the value. 8 is less than or equal to 10. Yes, condition is true. Here, I'll write B is equal to A into I. A is 5 into I value is 8. Here, it will become 40. 40 will be stored in variable B. So, print statement will get executed. A is holding value 5. I is now, it is 8 and equal to will be printed as it is and b value is 40. Once again, it increments the value of i by 1. Now, i is 8 plus 1, it will become 9. Control transfers to while loop, 9 is less than or equal to 10. Yes, condition is true. Here, we are going to write b is equal to 5 into i value is 9. 5 nines are 40. 5 will be stored in variable b. Now, we are going to print this particular statement. That is, a value is 5, cross mark. And i value is what? 9. So, b value is 45. Once again, this value of i will get incremented by 1. Earlier it was 9. 9 plus 1, it will become 10. Control transfers to while loop. 10 is less than or equal to 10. Yes, condition is true. Once this condition is true, this statement will get executed. That is, b is equal to 5 into 10 is equal to 50 will be stored in b. Now, we are going to print this particular statement. So, value of a is 5 and i is 10 and b is holding value 50. Once again, the value of i will get incremented by 1. Now, it will become 10 plus 1. It will become 11. Control transfers to while loop. Here, 11 is less than or equal to 10. No, condition is false. Once the condition is false, the control comes out of this iterative statement and it is going to display this output. So, it has printed the table of 5. Now, it's time to go for executing this program. Let us execute and check out the result. Now we have come to VS Code. Let us click on new file. And here I'm going to type lab9.py is the extension. And I press enter. And here you can observe lab9.py. Let us begin with writing a is equal to int. And inside the round bracket, I'm going to write input. Here in a double quotation mark, I'll ask the user to enter the number. Now, I am going to write i is equal to 1 and next I will write the while statement. i is less than or equal to 10 and colon. Now, I am going to write b is equal to a into i and press enter. Now, I am going to write the print statement and in a print statement, I will write a comma here in a single pair of quotation mark i'll write cross mark next comma here i'll write i comma in a single pair of quotation mark i'll write equal to and after that i'll put comma and then value stored in b 
now i'll increment the value of i by 1 i is equal to i plus 1 now let us press control s to save this file and now execute this program go to run click on start debugging click on python debugger click on python file debug the currently active python file here you can see in the terminal it is executing and it shows the result now you can observe here it is asking the user to enter the number here i'm going to enter number 5 and press enter here you can see it is displaying table of 5 i hope you understood this program if so please write down in the comment box understood and if you want to check out this program along with the flowchart then the link is given in the description below thank you so much for watching this video till the end and we'll see you in the next video